chaps, how the devil? This is just a short video, some, some bonus bootneck, because I don't normally make a video on a Sunday, but I couldn't help myself after seeing Salty Cracker do a video about this silly mare, Taylor Lorenz. First things first, Taylor isn't a first name. The American Ponchomp for using surnames as first names has always annoyed me. Taylor is a perfectly good surname. The reason I'm motivated to make this video is because Taylor Lorenz is poss is perhaps the best example of, well, this meme. She she is the meme, personified. I believe this first became a thing after well-known internet hack Anita Sarkeesian became a thing. But I won't disappear down that rabbit hole now. If you haven't heard of her, she's a self-described video games journalist who everybody knows wasn't actually interested in video games. Sort of how the walk have done it with comics. Uh, you know, they don't actually read comics or collect comics, but they demand Spider-Man becomes a black disabled spider lesbian. Um, these are the people, they just like ruining hobbies for blokes. And um, Taylor Lorenz is also encapsulated by this meme because, well, first things first, let's just watch the, uh, let's just watch the hilarity of this entitled, whinging, middle class arsehole. Having a, having a bit of a cry because people disagree with her on the internet. Then also you'll see there's these, there's many people that are tweeting, uh, they'll threaten my parents. I've had to remove every single social tie. I had severe PTSD from this. I, I contemplated suicide. It got really bad. You feel like any little piece of information that gets out on you will be used by the worst people on the internet to destroy your life. And it's so isolating and terrifying. It's horrifying. I'm so sorry. You're fine. You're it's fine. overwhelming. It's really hard. Listen, Bootneck isn't a sociopath. When he sees girls crying, something in him quivers and he, and he feels bad. Every woman I've ever dated knows this. Turn on the tears and I instantly go, all right, I'm sorry. Even if you were being a twat and I was in the right. <laughs> That's just the way. So I take no pleasure in doing this. But the woman lies, cheats, and smears. And the reason the reason she drew the ire of people on the internet is because Tucker Carlson did a segment on her relating to this story, pointing out that Taylor Lorenz is being sued for defamation by a woman who claims, again, I'm not picking sides here, but she claims that Taylor Lorenz smears, lies, cheats, and basically ruined this woman's business, who is, you know, a poor immigrant to the United States. And Taylor Lorenz is a white, upper middle class walk arsehole. She said that the 2020 article that she wrote contained numerous false and disparaging statements. And if you go through a Twitter, it's, it's more of the same. She's just constantly having a pop at people. If you're right of Owen Jones or Taylor Lorenz, because they obviously share the politics, they'll call you a fascist, a racist, a Nazi, a bigot, a homophobe, every, every, tick every box. And obviously, Lorenz did not return any requests for comment. So there is at least merit to the claims. If anything Tucker Carlson had said was untrue, I assume she'd be filing a lawsuit against him. She isn't. So she bursts into tears, has a little cry, and talks about online bullying and harassment. And guess what? Now we have to do something about it. That was proclaimed April as National Sexual Assault Awareness and Prevention Month. One of the fastest growing threats to women is online harassment. The latest government statistics show one in three women under the age of 35 have experienced a type of essentially sexual harassment online. It's often underreported and many times not taken seriously, despite its serious risk to mental health and physical safety. Physical safety, oh, getting called names online. Physical safety, what what's it gonna do? Fire his cock through your ethernet cable. Digital rapists haunting the internet, prowling the internet looking for walk journalists. Right, and, and by the way, this Biden administration's push on gender and violent harassment online. Most harassment women get online is of other women. That's a known fact. Because guess what, ladies? Men are perverts. Men are always fake nice online because they're trying to shag you. Most of the abuse directed at women comes off other women, and everybody knows. So so have a, have a look at yourselves, ladies. Taylor, pull your socks up and get on with your life. If you don't like getting shit on the internet, then stop shitting on people yourself. And don't play the victim when you lie and smear and cheat and backstab and do everything else that you claim is getting directed at you. The idea that only one side of the political aisle is allowed to have an opinion 
is mind-boggling. Ultimately, they want to police the internet and have it so only left-wing ideologues are allowed to voice their opinions. Guess what? I'm allowed to disagree with Taylor Lorenz and you're allowed to disagree with Taylor Lorenz. And if she calls you a neo-Nazi or a white supremacist because you think we shouldn't have vaccine passports. I mean, you have stuff that you get accused of these things when you're not even talking about anything to do with immigration or race. But call you a neo-Nazi if you want to shave 2% off the income tax. It's lunacy. So Taylor needs to get a fucking grip. Put on your big boy pants, Taylor. And if you want to throw shit at people online, maybe just steal yourself and expect a little bit of shit back every now and then, eh? Anyway, that's me. Thanks for listening. I'll see you all for a live stream tomorrow at 7pm uh, UK or 12 PCT. Cheers. <laughs>